I feel like I've changed. I've evolved as a person. <laughs> I just feel like this book literally is a brick that is smashing me over the head. Admittedly, I really don't want to read this right now. Like, why would I read such a large book if it's not going to be a five star? Like Today is the day. I am going to read this book in the next 48 hours. Let's go. Y'all, I literally just woke up. It's like 9 a.m. on a Monday. I don't work today or tomorrow, so I decided it's time to tackle this murder weapon of a book and read it. Because in my TBR video, I was all like, I don't know if I'm gonna read this because it's such a large book on my TBR. No, no, no. I was making excuses already, but you know what? No more excuses. Let's get it done. Mm. And for y'all's information, I do not know the synopsis at all. I think there's dragons in here. I think there might be some war happening in here. That sounds like a fantasy thing. And yes, I could obviously read the synopsis, but I really enjoy going into a book blind. This vlog won't be too spoilery. I don't think there's gonna be spoilers at all. I got your back, don't worry. First sentences, if you were curious. The stranger came out of the sea like a water ghost, barefoot and wearing the scars of his journey. Mm. I know there's supposed to be a sapphic romance in here too, so that's all I really know about this book. And that is heavy. <laughs> the audiobook for this is 25 hours long, nearly 26 hours long. I think it's one of those 25 hours and 57 minutes long. <laughs> Even if I read it at one time of speed, I should be able to read this book, you would think, if I have the dedication. But do I? Because you see... Did you see this? Oh my god, I'm sorry. You're too close. You probably see how greasy I am. Does anyone else wake up in like a pool of sweat? I had some aggressive dreams last night. <laughs> Y'all, I had a dream straight up. One of my many dreams last night that had me like waking up like, what's happening? Is that for some reason I was going to high school with a young Superman and I wanted to be student council president and so did he. So we were going into line. But then we get abducted by aliens, sent to a different planet, and I get tossed into a waterfall, and he goes in to save me. <laughs> that just sounds so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. I had to share that with you because I was, I was, I woke up like, <laughs> what? You know the feeling when you're falling in your sleep? That's how I woke up, and I was just like, Superman didn't save me. What the F? I'm done. I'm gonna start reading. I'm gonna start reading. Okay, the real question is, how are you supposed to, like, hold this book while you read? And I know someone commented that on the on my TBR video, being like, this looks like reading this book would just break your wrist. Because, like, do you see that? Like, how would you... How are you supposed to read this? It's so... It's so big. Let's give it a go. Definitely gonna be reading on the table, because I'm not carrying this. It's a heavy, it's a heavy-ass book. Why Samantha Shannon? Make the papers thinner or something. Not me literally being two pages and being like, what the F? Oh my God, is she gonna murder this man? And the choosing day? It's a good start. Literally at two pages in and I'm just like, I'm hooked. What's the choosing day? what's what's her apprenticeship um she was supposed to be in seclusion and she snuck out and she got caught because of this wandering guy um in the red sickness he might be ill she might kill everybody if she just lets him go and apparently it's a crime to be out of seclusion a lot's happening already and i'm liking it i'm intrigued you also might see me reading with a bookmark underneath each line and that's just a recent tool i've learned that actually is really helpful because i'm dyslexic it helps me a like able to focus on each word because for some reason when i'm reading a lot of times what will happen is that i'll skip over words well especially if i, I have the audiobook for this luckily so I, i'm not going to be skipping over words this is just helping me stay focused on what words are being read because sometimes when there's a lot of words they can be a little jumbly for me personally so this technique of having the bookmark under the line and moving it down with it really helps i love the siren going on in the background i also really need a shower i feel like i'm drenched in sweat i'm still like not only was that dream awesomely terrifying but now i just hopped into this story and i'm like oh my god are we about to kill somebody on chapter one <laughs> what's happening and the hot cup of coffee is probably not assisting in the heat but you know what i prefer hot coffee so 
Ew, you can see the coffee grinds in there. Oop. While eating breakfast, I managed to read about 40 pages. So I'm on, on or in the middle of chapter four. And I'm very intrigued. Sadly, no murder yet. Dang, I thought there was gonna be murder on page two and I was so excited. So 40 pages out of, how many pages are in this book? Like 800? Oh my God, 804? 804 that is that there's so much to read oh my god um and i do have acting class today so i'm gonna get ready go over my notes and things like that we're doing scene work i will immediately hop into reading after that but my class is like literally four hours long so it's gonna take a huge chunk of my day <sighs> y'all this book is just huge but so far very good very compelling and the only difficulty i'm probably having is keeping track of all the characters there's characters who are missing there's a character who went to a different kingdom there's two different kingdoms and one is like being ruled by a princess or a queen who's trying to get assassinated or not trying to but people are trying to assassinate her frequently and a lot of her family members have died from assassins and there's a guard trying to figure out what the fudge is happening and then on the other side in this other place um there's um this like choosing day that's happening and they're picking new dragon riders and there's gonna be some trials to see who who can ride the dragons but there's so many characters going on and i, I almost feel like annotating and highlighting all the names and trying to keep track of them but i am only 40 pages in so i assume it's going to get a little easier as i get into the story but that was a that was a dense like three and a half chapters of like 12 names that i'm like oh my god and i'm only i'm only 40 pages in so i'm i'm a, I'm a little nervous a little nervous it is now 5 30 oh exactly oh wow and i'm exhausted ew just finished acting class and now it's time to get back to this honker which admittedly i really don't want to read this right now i'm pooped from acting class i gotta tell you but i'm gonna do it it's 5 30 i can really i could if if i'm if i get into this book i could get like halfway through it if i just spent the next like six hours reading i also i made some coffee i'm breaking my rule of one coffee a day because oh i need this and then I have a salad that I pre-made a couple days ago. It's a quinoa salad with cucumbers. These kind of olives, the purple ones. They're super yummy. But yeah, so I'm gonna nourish the body after I've taxed it so emotionally. So, uh, what's funny is I have the audiobook, so you would think easy peasy. But no, because I want to retain what I'm listening to. And this book, every single page, there's so much information. We're switching points of views. I'm trying to figure out who these cast of characters are, what country we're in. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> I see why I've been avoiding this book. I see why. But you know what I'm going to do? Honker down and read it. <laughs> Wait, I have to say that with more confidence. I am going to read this. Mm. hundred pages in which looks like nothing this book is absurd oh my god okay but figured i'd take this time to say since i'm 100 pages in which is one eighth of the way through uh, there's so much happening in this so let me pull out the map for my own personal reference <laughs> we got this continent we got the abyss which is where there are monsters we got dragons and then there's this nameless one that's really bad back in the day there was this like time of sorrow where these dragons were killing people and there was this red sickness and there's two different religious belief systems this is a lot i know i know take it in with me this isn't a spoiler this is just basic information about the world this is truly an adult fantasy it is like every other sentence i'm getting 
so much information <laughs> that I'm trying to register and I need like I like it I'm definitely intrigued and Samantha Shannon's really good at uh, continuing to spark questions which I really enjoy because when you just give us information it's not fun but when you give us like a name of somebody um, and then we will refer back to them later it that that's really intriguing because I love I love good questions I'm like who's trying to kill this person what's happening why this person exiled but basically we're focused with the east and the west and like trying to evade war there's a queen who is getting attempted assassinations is how i would refer to it uh, but then one of the perspectives we are seeing is this woman who has been sent to protect this queen for some particular reason because of this orange tree which you know you know the whole purpose of the book um, so I'm very interested to see and she has some sorcery, some some magical ability, and she like she be killing people. <laughs> which is I don't know, I think that's really cool. Uh I'm gonna stop holding this map up because oh my hand hurts. This book is too big. Um yeah, so East versus the West. A one believes dragons are good, we train with them and all that stuff. The other one doesn't. Okay, let's jump back in. How is it so late already? Oh my god. Like my brain is freaking melting. It's it's 10 p.m. I'm I'm gonna shower soon and go to bed because it's bedtime. <laughs> but I'm only 200 pages. In. <laughs> what? Why does it? I feel like I've been reading all day and yet look at this sad dent. I mean, 200 pages is still like a lot, but why? Did, it looks so sad. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, I luckily don't have much to do tomorrow i am really enjoying the politics the kind of magical elements where it's like we don't really know why this nameless dragon guy is coming back or not we don't really understand what's going on or why or who we need to protect who's the real villain there's just a lot happening and i definitely am really enjoying it but i feel like it's interesting because i love I personally love long books. I really, really do. The Black Witch Chronicles I've been talking about for like ever. The Last Magician is also a thick book. I liked Crescent City. Um, there's a lot of thick books that I personally really, really enjoy. But I will say that because this adult fantasy is... I just feel like the way it's written. I don't know if I just don't enjoy it as much just because there's like not as much banter and it's not from the person's perspective um yeah so i'm like it's maybe missing a little bit of its like funny personable edge just because we're we're literally something is constantly happening it feels like a lot and i'm like learning to care for the characters um i think Eid, or I don't know how you say it, but E-A-D, that's the most interesting character in my opinion. This sorceress, assassin, killing girl, she's pretty, she's pretty nifty. Overload. <laughs> it's like thinking about all the who's killing who and who's gonna go where and what country are we in now and <gasps> overload. I'm 200 pages in. I'm not confused anymore. I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to keep up. I just feel like this book literally is a brick that is smashing me over the head with just constant like action slash politics slash just it's just constant. I think this is a terrible book to try and read in two days. Why did I do this myself? Oh my god. <laughs> so I've been bad but kind of good for me bad for y'all bad for this video i haven't read it all today it's 6 p.m and i have like 10 hours left in this audiobook but okay so yesterday i found out my work schedule and that it didn't work wednesday so i got real excited and today has been a chill bopping day i went to the gym and i had my soundtrack going and i i walked to the gym i did the gym i did a hard workout I walked back i showered and then i realized i should pack some orders so i spent time packing a bunch of orders from pango books i'm selling a bunch of my unhauled books to you guys just trying to rehome them so that way like people can really appreciate them i've read most of those books that i'm unhauling so yeah just 
had a kind of self-care day where I did one big task because carrying those books to the post office was very heavy and then I treated myself to a little iced coffee and then I roamed around Barnes and Nobles Follow your I heart. was good I didn't buy anything from Barnes and Nobles I'm so happy because I tend to um as you know buy books really often when I don't need to the a few books that I was pulling out that I was like interested in I almost purchased them there was like there was like a hot moment of just like ooh, I need this book and then I was like no I don't I have books literally coming in the mail I have all the books that are on my shelves that I want to read I have all the series that I want to read I don't need more books <laughs> so I was so proud of myself the discipline I put those books back um, but I did a lot of walking today and a lot of just being in the Sun um, now that it is like 6 p.m. I figured time to read right <laughs> I told you guys last night oh, I'm dropping things I have like so much clothes on my chair I really should do something about those ignore all of that <laughs> just look at my pretty book shelves um, but I'm gonna start reading as I told you guys last night I'm 200 pages in to priority of the orange tree and I am enjoying it it definitely is giving high fantasy vibes in the sense that I'm not really getting I'm not getting the personal connection just yet of each character. It's also not written in first person, so you're you're just missing a little bit of that that immediate personality that you sometimes get with like YA or first person books um, when it's written from the I perspective. I think this and that. Like you hear what people think. I still think the book is doing a great job, and I'm very intrigued. I just don't. I don't know if it's gonna be a five star, which is also making me a little sad and hesitant. In reading that and plus the size of this book oh, let me grab it Ugh. like why would I read such a large book if it's not gonna be a five star like honestly that's how I feel but I'm only a fourth of the way through so I'm hoping tonight I can get maybe another fourth of the way through <laughs> oh my god we'll see why why okay well time to get into reading I think I'm gonna make some tea try and have a chill night with this fat book y'all i don't think i can even aesthetically like vlog me reading this i just i'm doing my best and i'm listening to some music in the back <laughs> but like reading and i got my tea here nice and hot just the way i like it and in case you didn't see, she's beauty, she's grace. She can stab you in the face. The accuracy. The accuracy. Oh my god, not me cheering for bloodshed. <laughs> I should have been recording. Um, but this girl was fighting this guy who had been making fun of her this whole book, being like, oh, you're a piece of shit. You're from a shit village. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, she went ham on him. And I was just like, yeah, bloodshed, which is hilarious and just oh my god, just I die, I die. That was that was a wonderful reading moment that I wish I captured authentically on camera. But you know, can't be recording all the time. But bloodshed, woo! There's a lot happening. We're flipping back and forth from dragon trials to assassin attempts to secret priority agents to being a, an ambassador slash spy while this nameless dragon creature looms in the darkness there's just so much, there's just so much happening <laughs> like this that's how i feel right now like uh, of course after i cheer for the bloodshed i'm just like uh, ooh, i know i'm so good at my job at explaining reading that's how I feel. Those were my feelings. I did my best. I'm finally up. I feel like I crashed really early last night because I was just pooped. Um, and I only got to page 300. <laughs> uh, I just checked the audiobook length. I have eight hours left. Holy moly. So I'm going to start reading. But it is literally 10 a.m. I was on the phone most of the morning with insurance stuff, you know, fun things. Um, 
Oh my god. And look at this pile. I need to do some laundry. This is my work clothes. I was just lazy and didn't throw them in the dirty laundry bin. Ignore that. Ignore that ugly mess. <laughs> because you just sacrificed like eight hours today to read. Let's do it. If I just spend all day reading, I could get this book done. And mind you, last night I finally finished part one, entered part two. I'm starting to like a lot more of the characters. Finally. 300 pages in and I'm starting to care more about the characters and I feel like it's because we spend so little time with each character What the heck? <laughs> 300 pages in uh, there's like so many plot lines that I feel like finally after part one I'm like, okay, I've spent enough time with each character to give an F. You know what I mean? So that's a good thing, but it sure did take its time getting there and now I'm hoping that since I'm invested in people are dying no spoilers but people are dying um i'm hoping it's just all uphill from here of like i love honestly y'all i'm honestly a weirdo and i love it when characters die i just i personally like it i think it adds more stakes to the circumstance if characters actually lose their life so i did appreciate kind of some things that were happening at the end of part one a lot it makes me really invested in the characters it makes me feel like the world is actually dangerous especially in adult fantasy like i kind of get why fantasy being all like oh, these characters aren't dying oh my god same with red queen with one of my favorite characters i i truly do love when we're like okay peace out sacrificing myself for the greater good or oops i'm dead because dragons because this world is dangerous 300 pages in i'm not even close to the halfway mark i'm like I'm apparently, I'm supposed to be like 130 like pages away from the halfway point, but I don't feel like it. Oh my god, that was so loud. Oh my god, I should probably get dressed and ready for the day. And lovely sirens passing. Hope you're good. Oh my god. Um, I should probably get dressed, but I'm like not in the mood. I've been reading for maybe how many hours? I feel like a lot. I still have like six hours left in this book but i've made i'm halfway there what's that song whatever i've made it to 400 i think the book is a little over 800 pages but i don't care i'm halfway there <laughs> so excited look <laughs> look at my success why why does it not look like halfway through i'm very disappointed in this visual 400 400 pages in it doesn't look halfway but i swear it is okay close <laughs> oh my god but i will say it's getting really hard to hold this book for the most part i've been like leaning it against the table to read <laughs> but like i also am trying to like read so i tend to like put the book in my face and be like oh look at these words uh -huh -huh. that's how i normally read why do i sound delirious i think i'm a little delirious from all this reading just is there's so much and there's so much happening in this book it's crazy but yeah i'm starting to struggle to like hold on to this whilst reading i'm like mm -hmm -hmm. okay <laughs> it feels like a workout in itself and my wrists are so so unprepared i don't want to share spoilers i don't i don't but like Things are going down. I already told you there has been multiple deaths. Um, you know, part two, we're just layering on more death, which is very exciting. We 500 pages in. Damn. There's still 300 more pages. Wow. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Almost through this book. Uh, but like, I'm more than halfway through. I'm ecstatic this has been i feel like i've been reading for a bazillion years i think i have uh, i have four hours and 45 minutes left i'm i'm gonna need another cup of coffee because it's oh my god <laughs> it's it's almost 6 p.m i mean i literally will be reading this book up until midnight to finish it tonight because i'm determined i am determined to defeat this massive book but I am I'm very excited to be seeing this progress. I kind of wish I was annotating along the way. 
I definitely want to do a reread now because there's just so much information that's being given constantly. Just name dropping, types of religions. I would love to like go back and piece everything together. I really like that all the different, um, what are they called? Point of views. All the different point of views are connecting and how they're all kind of bringing in vital information of this puzzle of how to defeat the nameless one but like there's so much information that my little baby brain's just like how do i categorize this new information mm, store store oh is this the name of a city yeet <laughs> oh is this the name of a character yeet oh is this a story from some past religion it's like <laughs> I cannot remember everything. It's whooshing over my head at lightning speed. I, I know I was saying in the beginning that like, is this going to be a five star read? It wasn't feeling like a five star read. And I will admit the first 200 pages didn't feel five star just because it was just so much information. But of course my camera died. Basically, I feel like now it could be a five star read. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, camera, you can die now. Thank you. I'm enlisting all the help I can get on this journey, man. Oh. <laughs> we love coffee, even though it's our third cup and it's probably too much. <gasps> I've reached the last part. <laughs> How exciting. Okay, wait, let me show you. I'm 620 pages in. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all I have just, I mean, that's still like 200 pages left. <laughs> Wild, but y'all, I read this one. Look how, it's like almost as big as my head. Oh my God. This is, this is absurd. This is crazy, but I'm excited. The story is so good. Again, with the killing of people I love, which I love, because I love suffering. <laughs> I have two hours and 56 minutes left in this. So like, yeah. Three hours, that's so much, oh my god. It's 8 p.m., I'm gonna make dinner. But yo, yo, this is wild, unheard of. What a journey. I'm, I am, I'm at a loss for words, but just wow. <laughs> like, am I proud of myself even before finishing this? Just wow. In case you wanted an update about how I'm liking the book, um, Hell yeah, I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I'm so intrigued. I do feel like this last part gave a lot of answers. And though I feel like the reveal was a little easy, I then remind I reminded myself that I had to spend 600 pages. So it's like, of course, it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> but for some reason, like someone was just telling them because of something. I'm being real vague. I apologize. But there was there was a big reveal. And I now love knowing the answers and really want to know what the F's going to happen next. And there's some other situations that are just so like, how are all these like different warring countries going to come together? Lots of question marks. Lots of question marks. But the religious historical background has been revealed. And though it was crazy, it was definitely a wrench. I could have never predicted that. And I'm normally a really great predictor of plots. So yeah. Overall, really enjoying it. I'm 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 wildly impressed by the journey this book has taken me on. The amount of people that have just died, just like <laughs> gone, <laughs> just <laughs> absurd. Is this why it's a five star? Just because people are dying left and right? Possibly. <laughs> I feel like I've been reading for 20 years. It's I, I think today. Well, I haven't hit the eight hours yet. I've been reading for five hours straight, which doesn't seem like a lot. For some reason, reading contemporary, five hours is like nothing. But reading high freaking fantasy, two times speed for five hours, I feel like I've changed. I've evolved as a person. <laughs> I, I legit feel delirious. And I probably like, that probably doesn't make sense to you unless you've gone on this journey. Um, but wow, what a ride. And I feel like I'm only going to be more delirious by the end of this journey. And I have to wake up early tomorrow and I have work tomorrow and I want to work out tomorrow. 
I'm I'm not setting myself up for success, but that's okay because I would have finished one of the largest books on my TBR, which is so so exciting. And is it gonna be a five star? <laughs> it's done. If I look tired, it's because I am. It is twelve. 27 clearly past my bedtime but i did it this book is too big too big oh my god um i'm so tired and so pooped um i think i will give you more more of a co cohesive review tomorrow of or i guess in a few hours <laughs> this was a journey this was a lot. I also did my hair, so excuse why I look different. Your girl showered and finally did her hair. I can't tell you how excited I am that I read this massive, massive book. I, it's been on my TBR forever. I can't believe I did it. I'm, I'm shooketh to my core. I'm so proud of myself. This was, I want a trophy for this, this, almost suffering it feels like but it wasn't suffering because i didn't enjoy myself not in the same way that i've enjoyed other long books though and i think it's because of many things that i will divulge in probably a few seconds for you but like ugh, a solid night's rest for me because a girl needs it desperately okay y'all it's the next morning and i have finished Priory of the Orange Tree. I am so excited. Even though I feel dead inside, I am so excited. First of all, I realized while editing this video that I kept calling it Priority of the Orange Tree instead of Priory. My bad. Priory of the Orange Tree. Literally taking a full three days to realize that I'm saying the book effing wrong. <laughs> But to wrap up the vlog, this was a fun experiment. I'm really, I'm really proud of myself, honestly, because this is one of those books that, yes, was super daunting, and I definitely didn't want to read because it's super, it's super daunting. But I'm so, I'm so happy I did it, and I enjoyed reading it, and I do like want to reread it. So I'm definitely gonna keep it in my collection. I was a little worried at the beginning. Just because I wasn't in love with the characters and there was just so much happening that I was like, oh, I'm not invested in all of these people. I think around the 200 page mark is when I started to get invested in the people and then they started dropping like crazy. <laughs> I enjoyed a lot of it. I think it's still interesting that in a fantasy world that like queer love and sapphic love is still like a challenge like even in the end and this isn't really a spoiler but like these characters are still struggling to find love and find each other and find time for each other in the end there's hope but it's just interesting how it's like this is literally a fantasy world where we can let we create our own rules and yet we still use queerness as a, a point of difficulty you know i also like female roles in this one of the females uh in this Queendom. her only responsibility was like to produce an heir and it became such a plot point that even like they almost felt like throwing out this queen just because because she couldn't have an heir oh my god it was crazy so i think there was a lot of interesting commentary on female roles on like sapphic and gay relationship a lot of a lot of good stuff i really i really enjoyed it though i'm like yo fantasy world that's we got a nameless one already oppressing us. Why do why do the gender norms also have to be tossed in there? First 200 pages were a little slow, but if you can, if you could chug along around the 200, 250 page mark, you start to really care for these characters and they have great lessons to learn and great meanings to share. I, I do still think that there's some perspectives that I enjoy to read more versus others. There's perspectives of people I don't like but I kind of like the what they have to go through and how they transform as a person. And some people are just a little boring. Final conclusion. Is this a five star? Is this a four star? What stars is this book? What am I what am I giving it? I think I'm gonna give it a four star. And though I want to reread it, uh, I think that's something a part of me giving books stars like i liking the characters liking the writing liking the plot 
um there's like an it factor of just like it connecting well emotionally and like me feeling the characters and the stakes in the story and then the last one's like me wanting to actually reread it i think this book only really lacks in i think personally it's like maybe the characters for me since they're not like super personable even though i really enjoyed two or three of the characters and really like was rooting for them there are so many other characters i wasn't rooting for i was just kind of like what the f's happening but i still i still connected to it i still felt for these characters and i still want to reread it because i still i feel like there was just so much that happened that i'd love to do a reread and I, I i feel like i'll enjoy it even more knowing the characters now um so yeah i think it's gonna be a four star for me i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna try and reread this not anytime soon <laughs> That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this format where I just try and read a, a fat book on my TBR. I think the next book I'd actually like to do is A Little Life because I think everyone and their mother talks about it. And I don't know. I feel like I should probably get into it, right? Cry my eyes out. I don't know. Watch me hate it. I Who knows? I definitely have a problem purchasing books just because they're popular online. And I need to stop doing that. So I'm going to try and read some of them and see if I actually like them. Okay. Well, that's it for today's video. If you stay to the end, leave down below this emoji. If I'm smart, I'm going to use the dragon emoji. We'll see if editing Jess is smart. Um, leave it in the comments below so I know you're the real MVP and you stay to the end, which is uh brings me so much joy that i appreciate you so 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 much and yeah i hope to see you in the next video bye